The shocking thing about um, Waco is it's one of the most educated communities in Texas. We have several universities. It's also one of the most churched populations in Texas. And yet, we have 23.7% of our children that live in food insecurity. We've learned that hunger um, affects more than just your belly. It affects your attention span. It affects your ability to learn. It affects your graduation rate. It affects your ability to get a job. And so we believe that if you can train folks how to um, grow their own produce, if you can provide food and provide the education of food and build community, then, then you do well for your community. Hi, my name is Jonathan Grant. I'm the Executive Director at World Hunger Relief Incorporated, a 40-acre nonprofit farm in, outside of Waco, Texas. Six years ago or so, Waco Family Medicine came to us realizing that half of their patients, half of 46,000 patients, had illnesses that were diet-related. That means if they had access to uh, and were eating healthier foods, that, that the illnesses that they struggled with would go away. And they asked us to partner in what is called the Produce Prescription Program. The program has grown dramatically, but what happens is we grow produce here on the farm as part of our educational experience. But we use that produce uh, to box into half bushel boxes that we then take and place in refrigerators at six different clinics of Waco Family Medicine. We realized this past year that we want to do more than just distribute food. We want to engage our community in a way that we, um, we see each other as neighbors. And so this year, rather than just handing out food, we're creating cohorts of patients that will meet together at a time for 12 weeks with representatives from the farm, representatives from the clinic, and representatives of the church with a group of 12 to 15 patients who will learn how to cook together, learn how to garden together, learn what it means to be neighbor, and truly just become friends. Again, the more that we can build empathy, the more that we can learn to love our neighbor, uh, the better job we'll do of bringing down the numbers of food insecurity here in McLennan County. We're incredibly grateful for the hunger offering. It's easy to neglect and forget that in our um, communities of abundance that, that folks are hungry in our own communities. And so the hunger offering allows us to engage with that community and allows us to see one another as partner and help meet the needs of one another. Um, without the World Hunger Offering, we wouldn't be able to do all the things that we do so beautifully here in McLennan County.